Right, hi guys, yes, it is uh, 22.40, so 20 minutes to 11. Got my marigolds on, <laughs> and they are marigolds, these ones, they're not Tesco specials, these are marigolds. Hopefully these are gonna last better than the Tesco's ones did. Um, right, first of all, a uh, shout out. And this is to Hilda, Paula, Sandra, Bob and Amy, okay? All the same family. <laughs> So there's your shout out, that's all dusted. Right, um, thank you for all the messages. I've been trawling my way through all these messages. There's hundreds on there guys, absolutely hundreds. It's gonna take me ages to get through them. I'll stay up for a little while longer doing them, but I'm all going to bed eventually. I have got to go to bed. Uh, but thank you all very much. I've had some lovely comments from you guys. That's really, really kind of you. And yes, it might be the start of many a, many a live, I don't know. We'll have to see what you guys think about it. Um, one of the messages on there, they said um, it, it would have been helpful, and it was, when s some of the messages were written in capitals and they really stuck out. So when somebody had a message that they wanted me to answer a question, they'd actually done it in capitals. And that made it really obvious to read. You could sit and you could read it straight away, and that was really good. So I think if we do ever do this again, that is a very good idea. Any questions? I, okay, a lot of them were, hi April, I uh, hope you're doing okay April, that sort of thing. They're lovely to have, but they were they sort of, they were mixed up with all the messages and it was hard to find the messages. So I think that's probably a good way to do it. So anybody who wants to send a message, do it in capitals and then it really sticks out and I can sit and I can respond to it guys. So that was a really good, um, good bit of advice. There's a moth just landed in my water. <laughs> He's gone now. <laughs> um, so yes, I, I did enjoy it, yeah, right at the end, <laughs> I was getting into my stride, and I could have probably gone on for another hour, but that wouldn't have been fair to everybody, because uh, I'd have ended up waffling, <laughs> and uh, I've got plenty of time to waffle tomorrow, because I've got my walks tomorrow, guys, and don't forget my walks are about three hours long, so <laughs> I can waffle for three hours if you want me to, <laughs> um, so yes, so it's been a good day. Uh, it's been a home day, I've told you it's been a home day already. So hopefully tomorrow I'm gonna to be able to get out. Uh, I haven't looked at the weather yet, but the sun did come out as it was going down. It got low to the horizon and I could actually see the sun today. It's the first time I've seen the sun. So hopefully that's a sign of things to come and we're gonna have some nice weather for the rest of the weekend. So one bad day, if it's just one bad day, that's not too bad. Um, it's a bit cooler out there now. I've actually uh, shut the windows because it felt quite nippy when I came in here. The back door was still open as well. <laughs> the dogs had left the back door open again for me. But yes, so thank you so, so much for that. I've had a, I've really enjoyed it. At the end, I enjoyed it. I was a little bit, um, not sure to start with, but now having done it, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, I really did enjoy it. That was good. And now I know who my true friends are, guys. Um, yeah, so what else can I talk to you about? It's washing up time, um, straight to bed, um, I did the hooving earlier, so I'm not going to do it again. I did it this afternoon when I cleaned the kitchen, I cleaned the uh, dining room as well, so I won't hoover that again tonight. That'll have to stay as it is. There's just a little bit here on the sofa and that's it. The rest is okay. So I shall get this washing up done. Have a reasonably early night. <laughs> it's not midnight yet, anyway, let's put it that way. So the boys are already in bed, they've just gone in had their biscuit, they're all tucked up, they're all got, they've got nice clean bedding, so they should be nice and snug tonight. And I'll shut the window in there tonight because it's uh, quite nippy in there. So they should sleep well tonight. Um, oh, pick this lot up. That's all the plates. There we go. Um, I got somebody messaged me about boiling the kettle for my hot water. Uh, yes, I do boil the kettle for my hot water because I have got a gas boiler and I can heat up the hot water with the gas boiler if I like, but I have to heat up a whole water tank full of water. I can't just, it's not a combi boiler. It's not one of those you turn on, you get instant hot water. This one, it's got a separate hot water tank. So I have to turn the hot water on and then wait half an hour, three quarters of an hour before it even starts to warm up, guys. And there's no point if the only thing I use hot water for is um, my washing in the evening that I'm doing now, and I can boil the kettle for that. And then um, in the morning, when I have a wash, I have a wash in the sink in the morning upstairs, and I come down, let the boys out, give them a biscuit, and then I go back upstairs with the kettle, 
and I'll pour that in the sink and so I can have a wash. There's no point heating up a whole hot water tank of water just for those two things. So that's why I boil the kettle up. I'm not tight, it's just that it's a waste. It's a total waste. So um, that's why I do that. I will turn it on, in, I will turn the gas boiler back on, obviously when it turns cold, I need the heating on. Uh, I'll have no choice. And then I'll probably have the hot water on then because it, it, the boiler's on anyway and it can do it can do both at the same time. So, um, so yeah, so that was an answer to that one. And I, as I said, nobody asked the April question, so I was quite surprised about that. Um, the uh, bit about where I answered uh, Freddie Mercury, uh, who was your favourite dead or alive person who you admired? Yeah, Freddie Mercury. Uh, but there's others, obviously, but I just couldn't think at the time. Uh, but Freddie Mercury was a good one. <laughs> um, a lot of people have mentioned Elvis as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, he was good as well. He was good. Um, so, yeah, that was good. Um, I don't think I had any real strange ones. So I had a, a few about the hair, about the extensions. And that was great. I like that because that was a really exciting time. I loved going up to Birmingham and getting that done. That's so, so fun. And I had a lovely time. It's great to be pampered, to actually be, have someone be pampering you. It was really nice, guys. I've never had that before. And uh, that just made the whole day super special. And I did say to Chez, I'll never forget it. I'll never forget that. It's one of those magic moments. I had another moment like that probably a couple of years ago when I went and bought a wig. And I went to see a lady in Cambry Island who uh, specialised in wigs for cross-dressers and transgenders. And I went to see her for a week. I actually messaged her. She, I remembered seeing a programme on telly about her boutique or salon. That's a salon, isn't it? I, went, uh, I found it on the, um, the internet. And I sent her a message and uh, booked myself in to go and see her. The lady was called um, Julie. And it was Angel's Wigs on Canvey Island. And I went to see her and that was lovely as well. That's another one that sticks in my mind, uh, mainly because that was the first time I actually introduced myself as April to anybody. That was the first time I'd ever done that. And uh, she gave me a hug. And that was, that was super special. That was really, really nice. Very first person to accept me for who I was. Uh, yeah, you get those moments, guys. Get those magic moments, and I do love those magic moments. Um, I'm hoping tomorrow's going to be nice and we can get out. I don't know whether it will be dressed weather yet. Probably won't be. Might be skirts if I'm lucky. I'll be surprised if it's um, good enough to have a dress on, but we'll have a look. I could be surprised. Um, oh, here we go. Just cleaning up my containers so I can put them in the recycle. And this is it, guys. This is the last one, and I am ready to go to bed. So. Thank you all again for your support. Uh, what, a, what a fantastic bunch of subscribers I've got. You are great. Um, yeah, there's, there's nothing I can say, guys. You're just amazing. And uh, you, you made it super special for me tonight. That was really good. Right, that is it. We are done. There's nothing else here. So, pour that out. Kettle's ready for the morning. Boys are tucked away, back door's locked. And I'm going to go to bed. Because I'm tired. <laughs> but it has been a cracking day. So, tomorrow morning, I'll be getting up reasonably early. I'll be taking my boys out. I uh, don't know where we're going yet. We'll see what the weather throws at us. If it's nice and dry or whatever. We'll make, make our mind up tomorrow. But you guys are coming with me, whatever. I will be taking my uh, camera with me and we can do some videos and uh, yeah, I can come up with some uh, new conversation pieces for us all. Right, I'm going to love and leave you guys and thank you so, so much uh, for making this a very special day for me. Okay, and I shall speak to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.